Obstar G3's new MQB, AKL Sync feature, is a game changer. Watch this before you try it. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel that dives deep into the world of car diagnostics, key programming, and the newest tech you need to know about. Here's a quick challenge for you. Do you know how many modules you need to read data from to calculate MQB, all keys lost sync data, using the new OBD Star G3 feature? Is it two, three, or maybe four? Drop your answer in the comments right now, and let's see who's been paying attention. Before we start, this video is strictly for educational and informational purposes only. Everything shown here, demonstrations, tools, images, is designed to help technicians, automotive enthusiasts, and learners better understand vehicle diagnostics and programming. We follow fair use policies, using visuals and references purely for education and review. We do not claim ownership of any brand, image, or logo. All rights belong to their respective owners. Always follow your country's legal framework and the vehicle manufacturer's official service protocols when performing diagnostics or key programming. Before we get started, if you love discovering real-world, cutting-edge automotive solutions that save you time and money, then do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. It keeps this channel going, fuels the work behind these videos, and ensures you never miss another breakthrough like this one. Smash that like button if you're excited. And let's aim for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in just 24 hours. Can we do it? All right, let's dive into something big. The OBD Star X300 Classic G3 has just dropped an update that changes the game for anyone working with MQB platform vehicles. If you're a locksmith, technician, or just someone who loves getting hands-on with automotive tech, listen closely because you no longer need third-party software to calculate sync data for all keys lost. AKL, situations on MQB models for Volkswagen, Audi, C, and Skoda. That's right, no more bouncing between tools, decrypting hex files manually, or relying on expensive token-based services. Now, with just the G3 device and Obstar's RH850-V850 kit, you can pull the necessary data straight from the car's modules, let the system auto-calculate the sync code, and even program dealer keys, all from one platform. And the best part? It's free. No tokens. Just tech doing what it's supposed to. So, how does this cutting-edge sync calculation function actually work? First, make sure your OBD Star G3 is updated to version 45.48 or higher. That update became available on April 22, 2025. Once that's done, you'll need the RH850-V850 kit to get started. Together, they unlock a streamlined process that replaces what used to be a tedious, multi-step nightmare. Previously, you had to extract data from four separate modules. The instrument cluster, engine control unit, ECU, transmission module, and the YELV, better known as the steering column lock. Each of these had to be handled with different tools or third-party software, sometimes even requiring file transfers and manual decoding. But now, the G3 does it all. Let's walk through the process together. Step 1. Fire up your G3 and navigate to VW slash Audi slash seat slash Skoda MQB meter all keys lost. Before you proceed, make sure your device is connected to a stable internet connection because the sync code calculation happens on Obstar secure server. Now onto the juicy part, reading module data. Here's what that looks like. 1. Instrument cluster, IMMO data. The G3 can read this directly using the C4-06 adapter. You'll first run the read IMMO data function, which collects both the flash and flash memory. Then, use parse IMMO data to decrypt and analyze it. It's quick, secure, and doesn't require extra tools or guesswork. 2. ECU Engine Control Unit This supports a variety of ECUs including popular ones like the EDC-17 and Simo series. Don't worry about getting lost. The G3 provides clear pinout diagrams so you can connect properly and read data without damaging anything. 3. Transmission Module For certain models, like the DQ-200G2, you'll need to extract immobilizer data. OBD Star provides a 7-in-1 gearbox connector kit that makes accessing this module much easier. 4. Yelvi Steering Column Lock Here's where it gets interesting. 
You can either use the upcoming C4-06 adapter or a separate MQB collector from OBD Star. There are two supported YLV types, 3Q0905861 and 5Q0905861. So make sure you're reading the right one based on your model. You can either extract authentication data or use the RH850-V850 kit to read directly and calculate what you need. Once you've gathered all four sets of data, it's time to hit Calculate Sync Code. This is where the magic happens. The OBD Star server processes your input and spits out the correct sync data automatically. No manual file editing, no hunting down obscure calculators. Just plug, read, and go. With the sync code in hand, you move to the final step, key programming. Use the make dealer key function directly through the G3. No need to whip out an external key programmer. It's all handled through one device. Now, here's a major bonus you'll love. This feature doesn't lock you into the OBD Star ecosystem. If you already have tools like the DC706 for ECU data extraction, or you prefer bench reading your ECUs, you can still use them. OBD Star made this update with flexibility in mind. Of course, there are a few things to keep in mind. You get three sync code calculations per day, which helps prevent misuse. Also, a live server connection is required. There's no offline mode just yet. And yes, some modules will still need specific adapters like the C4-06. But even with those considerations, this feature is an absolute game changer. I think OBD Star nailed it with this one. Simplifying a complex, high-risk task into a few guided steps is exactly the kind of tech evolution we need in automotive diagnostics. Now I want to hear from you. What's your take on this new MQB AKL Sync feature? Have you tried it yet? Do you think it replaces the need for VVDI or AVDI in this scenario? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, don't keep this to yourself. Share this video with your workshop buddies or technician groups. You might save someone a ton of time and money today. Oh, and that quiz from earlier? The correct answer is four modules. That's right. You need data from the instrument cluster, ECU, transmission, and ELV to complete the sync process. If you got it right, give yourself a pat on the back and let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching till the end. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and consider dropping a super thanks if you want to support the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, happy diagnosing and keep pushing the limits of what your tools can do.